not sure, sis. I don't know if I really have what it takes to live in a place like this all on my own. Next episode, Gemini the Twin. Maybe I should go back to Texas. Bang! To the rooftops! So, when we last left off, there are relationship ranking. Um, Subaru is who is the focus of the last chapter is on top spot. Finally, taking over from Karen. Um, Jimmy is currently the lowest spot right now, just due to lack of heavy opportunities for interaction. Everyone else thus far has had. The other four members of the team have each previously had um, their own showcase chapters and those numerous opportunities to build their relationship over the course of that chapter. And you want to do that as opposed to just focusing on one or the other because for those who are just coming back into the game, um, your relationships with characters will determine their stats in the combat areas of the game. So you want to have a strong relationship and each with, the, with each member of your team and each one to be firmly be um, strongly motivated in order to do well. You don't level up by fighting enemies and grinding. And that way you level up by spending time with your fellow party members. If I was to roleplay this, to make a roleplay game for this, I would probably use something on the lighter end of the um, Powered by the Apocalypse system for this, possibly even Beam Saber, um, but it'd have to be a very heavily, like, like tonally reworked Beam Saber, I think. I'd have to sit down and read it. Firm. Oh, and Friendship Chart. Very strong with Subaru. Everyone else in really good terms with their other Subaru and Karen, probably the strongest one, because the other thing that helps you level up your ability is having characters do team-up moves with each other in combat. And Subaru and Karen ended up being paired off a lot in the game thus far, so they're basically bash sisters. Um, that, let's continue. For you, the day that this mysterious demon person with a scythe came, bunny person with a scythe came to your town was the defining moment of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. I realize that this is the 1930, alternate 1930s. I do find this slightly amusing, considering the fact that the Book of Five Rings... Let me check my settings, by the way. Oh, good. Audio settings carried over fairly well. Ooh, we don't have uh, any fixes. I'm missing game audio. Uh, but nothing... Okay. There we go. That's fixed. Okay. Bring you down just a little bit more. So... I find this slightly amusing because, um, <laughs> um, like, by the time I was growing up, Book of Five Rings, you could find it anywhere and everywhere. Uh, like, by the 1980s, you had, like, special printings of translations of the Book of the Five Rings being published and sold in the business sec in the business section of bookstores and shelved in the business section of libraries because an attempt for American business people to try to figure out how to properly compete with the Japanese um, and to do, um, because in the 1980s we thought the Japanese were going to 
um, eat our lunch. I am fully expecting, like, I am 100% shocked that we haven't had a similar thing with Sun Tzu's Art of War. That we haven't gotten the special... No, we get, look, actually, look, I take that back. We'd already gotten that with Sun Tzu's Art of War. Um, previously. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. The book that I took from that fool Mifune. <laughs> I will say, though, considering how this work, the setting of this thing works, I'm fully expecting, like, the Deadland, like, the Book of the Five Rings has, with, as a different implication behind it, or a power behind it, sort of like how in the Deadlands role-playing game, um, Hoyle's Rules of Games is actually a powerful spellbook. Then you must possess the other half of the book. Such is the will of our Lord! But I have no time for you now. I'll finish you up next time we meet. Damn it! She took off. Master, I will retrieve that which was taken from you. I will- Oops, sorry. Cut you off, cut you off there. So the Japanese title of the chapter is Gemini is 2, which I think also might work. Because we're seeing two very different personalities. They say that in your country, if a butterfly is caught, its heart is pierced. Are you doing Madame Butterfly? Some truth there is in that. And can you tell me why? That you may not escape. Be mine. Yep, they're doing Madame Butterfly. Um, might be an anachronism, actually. I mean, that's not saying much because this is 1930s with power armor. No, no, man. This is period for Madame Butterfly. Uh, though it is, Madame Butterfly is normally an opera. Uh, oh, but there's oh there's a, a play called um, from from 1898. First from uh, by David Belasco. Okay, so that was a one act. Interesting. Um, okay. Yes, yours forever. Come then, have no misgivings. The night enfolds us. See the world ah. as it lies sleeping. The play itself is actually probably the public domain, so this might actually be the actual dialogue from the play. I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm curious now if this is, if this is an adaptation of. if this is an adaptation of the original play using dialogue from that or if it's adapting dialogue from Puccini's opera ah, night of rapture stars unending never have I seen such glory I mean not actually Puccini's opera because well we get one they're not singing and two they're not using music underneath it and again it's public domain music. They probably could have gotten away with actually using music from it in some manner or another. Hasten. Cast all fear from your heart. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm curious. Now I'm legitimately curious here. Um...
No, I don't think so. Um, I'm looking over the text of the original play, and oh, this is. This is definitely not the result of the play because um Tocho san in the original play, um her dialogue is really bad. Really, really bad. Um Oof. Close to my heart I hold you. You're mine now. Like her her dialogue is very Let's just say it straight up. It's dumb. I don't mean in dumb as in bad, I mean dumb as in the character is written as deliberately not just that they speak English badly, but also that they are poorly at as badly, but also in the sense that they are given dialogue and mannerisms that are imply a lack of intelligence. So, yeah, they're definitely doing a rewrite, probably closer to Bertini's opera. Thy perfect calm is breathing love near and far. I'll admit, I have not seen Puccini's opera. Like, I've actually seen it done. So I don't know how, cl how close this dialogue goes to Puccini's opera. And, long story short, I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to do not delay this too much for research, like doing side research while playing. So I don't know too much about whether uh, this is actually close. Um, as it says, I'm, well, I'm not going to go in and re and look up the libretto. I'll just say that. Plus, also I'd have to like put the headphones on and listen to it that way and that sort of thing. So, anyway. Okay, well, I mean, the thing with the, uh, with the Lilip Theater, like, with the, um, like, with the, um, the Kurazuka Review is that their thing is, um, musicals. I can see them, okay, do this as, adapt an opera to a musical by keeping the main libretto, the main songs of the libretto, and then turning the more recitative, recitative portions of the opera as spoken dialogue. Uh, sort of doing a hybrid there. <sighs> yep, okay, I was correct. It was Bad and Butterfly. Called it. So Diana played Pinkerton. All right. Okay, so dope it up after the last uh, quest, the oh, last chapter. Okay, I think it's right to go for. back to paying attention to this.
Okay, yeah. So I get a boost from Shin and from uh, uh, Subaru and Diana. Um, I probably should have gone. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Yep, so it looks like the masked woman, who is totally not Gemini, it's actually Gemini, is the focus of the plot. <laughs> that is the problem of masked superheroes is, is you tend not to get Spidey or Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil does appear in court, just not as Daredevil normally. He appears as Matt Murdock and as an attorney, not as a witness. Okay. That is true. <laughs> oh, and normally that would probably work, but in this setting, pull a, you pull a sword on her, or pull a gun on her, she'd probably cut, just cut the bullet in half. All right. stuttering a little bit um this is my first time doing play, playing and doing capture on my new computer install i'll adjust some settings next time i think i don't, don't muck with this too much during capture I need to adjust the video settings because it's definitely it is stuttering in a way that is actively slightly obnoxious. And it Sorry about that. Hopefully, that will fix the, fix the stutter. Pretty good so far, all things considered. Mm -hmm. 
into the rescue. <laughs> I do love the fact that you get a max mask, mask on the horse, too, just for good measure. But otherwise, she, like, absolutely dresses like Jiminy. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to scroll because we're time to here. Okay. 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 Well, yes. Duh. fight again. Okay, barely made it. Make it in time, damn.
<laughs> All right. That is an anachronistic siren. Uh, I will say that. Okay. <laughs> so clearly the boss is in the loop on um what's going on. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.